All right. Hey, hi, hello. How's it going, guys? My name is Zedarezad, and welcome back to more Tacoma. The last we left off, we're still following along with the story, but apparently they tried, uh, if you recall, they actually tried to modify a supply drone, uh, a cargo drone, to fit humans inside, if I'm not mistaken. But apparently they failed, as you can see here. Uh, they didn't do very well. So that's practically where we left off. We also found out that... Uh, Natalie actually has a heart condition, so if she were to go into cryo, which she's supposed to do, there's a high chance that she might not make it, but I think the only person that knows is Sarah. And she is not going to say anything because I think she's under the assumption that uh, she's more like, Natalie is more likely to survive in cryo compared to not in cryo, so we'll see how that goes. I have a strong feeling that this would be the last episode for Tacoma, but we'll... Let's see. But before I begin, please like, subscribe, and get that bell on so you stay up to date on all my latest videos. Alright, let's get to it. Okay, we've seen this part already, if I'm not mistaken. But there's a... Wait. Right, right, right. Oh, how come we were here? Didn't we... Weren't we, like, further back? Move. Here's the technical access card. Oh, 809. Okay. Yeah, we were already here. Do you remember? I'm not sure why it didn't save. Oh eight oh nine. I'm locked. Okay. That's weird. I'm pretty sure I saved and quit. Because we've seen this part already. Okay. Yep. You're very weird. Okay, yeah, we've, we've seen all this already. If you want to watch it, you can watch the previous episode. Uh, then... Special access, yeah. So weird. Tension, yep, yep. Exit. So we've actually been here, if you recall, she put up the sign that says storage because she is married to Roberta. So she's actually crashing at Roberta's, like, uh, place. So... Ah, we've seen all this already. Okay. Yeah, we've seen this is the part where she finds out that they, uh, the CEO is already assuming that they're dead. Okay, wait, I'm gonna pause that. Review this data. New top tier AI directives transmitted override all prior existing directives. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks, disable all external communications channel accessible by crew. Fabricate data showing that oxygen and comms outage were caused by meteor impacts. Ensure crew enters cryogenic states. Hold on a minute. So. So hold on, this is, it's been, this data is actually fabricated. So it's this fabricate data, so it actually wasn't a meter impact that affected the oxygen comms outage, they, the AI did. Who, who is this? Who's VT AI handler? So whoever this person is, they told Olin to, to fake it, to fake all this, but why? Well, why, why are you not telling what them? What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Okay, yeah, we, we know that part. So, hold on. This is, this is very interesting. It's a big conspiracy now. So, someone back down on Earth, I'm assuming Earth, told Odin to fake, uh fix some some emergency but right now odin is kind of like unofficially telling her like what what's going on so i guess it's because of natalie's ai conditioning so they she's conditioned odin to be more aware maybe that's why oh 
why would they why did they do that though? Tokomo Rescue Craft Launch T minus one hour twenty six minutes. Tokomo Rescue Craft Launch cancelled. Relaunch scheduled for relaunch unscheduled. Why? The rescue craft departure has been intentionally cancelled. Without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from a lack of oxygen or cryo sleep over exposure within 12 hours. Unfortunately, circumstances outside your concern make this unavoidable. AI may not reopen comms to contact orbital craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. These are direct orders. Do not contact us about this issue again. What the hell? Why are they doing this? Following the failure of Ventures backed Orbital Workers Safety Bill in OSEP Congress, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accord being repealed. Without a repeal, Ventures belt facilities cannot begin operation. To this end, I have simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on success successful OSEP Congress votes. Hold on. Simulated world events include a precipitous decline of the orbital market and extended strike by orbital workers union members, the assassination of OSEP members opposed to the HOA, and more. None of these definitely definitively motivated a repeal of the HOA and simulations. However, in the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost due to an accident, I calculate a 94% likelihood of the accord being repealed within three months following this incident. This will allow Ventures belt facilities to begin operation immediately. Following this, I estimate a reversal of Ventures stock decline resulting in a record stock price within one year of the Ventures belt beginning operation. God damn. This is messed up. So because this AI is telling the CEO that if this crew were to die, then his Ventures belt plan would get would get like uh approved so we've seen all those ads about the ventures belt as we're going from one place to another is ventures belt right that's the apartments wasn't it oh shit what a big conspiracy damn that's messed up if someone were to override that protocol external communications channels would be restored odin thank you Hailing any ship, any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Oh. Restore SOS really enable resolving. Nice. Okay. Mr. Parameters allow for this operation by Amy Ferry. That's me. Randomly generated confirmation passphrase. Zebra, Zebra, Foxtrot, 853. Wait, 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 wait. Final contractor confirmation pin 0451. Okay. Oh, four, five, one. Oh, nice. She's doing the whole thing. Ew, it looks nasty. It looks like a brain. Oh god. Okay. Is that everything? Yeah, it's everything. So did they get it? Did they get out? Did they manage to get out? Records show that the AI cognition medium has been successfully removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Delivery coordinates for Ventures HQ have been provided. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. Okay. Holy shit, though. Did they... But did they get out? That's what I want to know. Oh, man. I messed up, yo. See, I, I mean, we knew the CEO was in trouble, but like... Damn, why would he go through? That's just messed up. Data process complete. You see the wet wear removal from the system? Almost there. Okay. Pull it out. Okay. That's everything, right? Let's go. 
for all we know, maybe the there's like just ten minutes left of gameplay. Station hub access. Request gravity tow. Shaft is currently unoccupied. Let's go. Oh man. But do they know that I've seen this data? Can't I like say something? Oh, a little bit of a starter there. So what's gonna happen? Is this Venture's belt? Yeah, is this Venture's belt. Yeah, so it's the bungalows. So he's willing to kill people just so he can get his Venture's belt to work? Sure, he's under a lot of pressure, but like, come on. That's... That's messed up. But what's gonna happen? Or what? I wanna know what happened to them. Oh, hold on a minute. Didn't... Weren't... Can't we access Cryo when we're in like the main hub? I recall seeing Cryo there. Are they still here? I don't think so, right? That's been... I think it's too long already. What if they're still here? Oh god. And this is actually like a secret horror game and Odin's like the bad guy. <laughs> no, I don't think so, but... It's pretty messed up. I don't... Great game. I, I like story-rich games. Yeah, the cryogenics is right here. Can I go into cryo? Can I go see what cryo's, cryo's like? What is this? 10 hours ago. Oh, cryo's open. Do you feel more yet, darling? I think I'm still <laughs> Oh, oh, they're awake, they're awake. Hold on. I can access data. Let's access the data. Everyone's awake. Oh, they only have two hours of oxygen left though. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm seeing stories going up on public AR. Here's everything you sent that I got to my free press connections. Tragic death of crew, yeah! So so she sent all the, the text files and the audio files from like the main hub. There's no adventures coming after you with all this info out there. But still, need some place to lay low? You come to Tangiers? Can't. Our rides headed the, the other way, but I'll see you once I'm back from Jupiter. They went to Jupiter? Okay. Failed and Sarah's got me on the gurney on the way to the transfer. God, it's good to feel good. God, it's going to feel good to be out of gravity. It's going to feel good to be off this station. It's going to feel good to not be dead. All right, see you in the hub. Okay. So hold on. Let's go see. Let's go see this guys. Waking up. Are those two fingers? Oh. Okay, little birds. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. There's one that's taking us just about to. Oh, we have to. Oh, we have to. Believe me. Okay. Uh, so what's going to happen with Odin? You okay, hold on a minute. Let's expand this. If you're groggy for two to four hours, do not operate machinery during this time. Medical staff will supply you one liter of water. You will be supplied with a chemically activated warming blanket. Okay. Oh, so these were their pods with their with their own colors and everything? That's cute. Oh. The details like they, they went went through. Look at this. Andrew, what, what does this say on the side, though? Ah. What does it say? Class 4 cryogenic suspension device. Okay. Some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. But... Oh, hold on. Let's climb the, the, the data. Corporate rival carnival daring rescue stranded. Station Tacoma are currently being rescued from certain death by the flagship vessel of their main competitor, the Resplendents. Carnival stay of the art long excursion pass passenger liner is currently slingshotting past Earth and around the sun, continuing its figure eight course back out past Jupiter. While cruising towards Earth space, the Resplendent received an SOS. Only moments to act, Resplendent's Captain Germain Burgess gall gallantly deployed an emergency shuttle to retrieve the rival corporation's crew. 
Uh huh. But already Ventura is caused by a crew member's illegal access to station AI. The AI unit is currently being retrieved by technical experts and returned to Ventura's HQ for a thorough inspection. Okay, that's me. Failed. A what? Okay. Ah. Uh. Nat, Bert, comms are up. Check your AR. I'm gonna wake everybody else up from cryo. Then I'm coming back to mech to get you. Everybody else, if you're reading this, you woke up. Thank God, rescue vessel's on its way. Just thankful we're all alive. Let's get the hell out of here while the getting's good. Noise. Okay. I guess they'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he grows. I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. What happened? Hassan, I'm sorry, I'm Tucker will not give me info. Sorry, but it's urgent. I was hoping we could ask you a favor. Ooh. Failed. Failed and. Dear Mom and Dad, I know you've probably already seen Tacoma on the news and who it's and who it seems they've decided to point the finger at again, and I'm sure you're worried about me, but. Getting off the station now, no matter what you read or cure, the crew survived this because we all pulled together to find a way out. There was no malfunction, this was deliberate. I know 8 months sound like a long time, but just remember I love you, speak to you when I can. Okay. Feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay everybody, our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. Oh, they're all looking at me. All right. Let's go. Odin's left. What what was going on? She was talking to Odin. He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. So so, so the drone worked? No. The drone didn't work. Oh. So VT is picking us up. Uh, no. VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, what's going on then? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. <laughs> now, give him a break. <laughs> We're not going to be home for a while. Right? You're not going to miss your kids' graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no. No. Yeah, you know Nicholas. Well, he would... Never do something like that. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're gonna be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good long while. We're gonna be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's good. Interesting. Okay. Now let's see what Sarah is. Still saying. waking up. So, so, so the drone worked? No, the drone didn't work. Oh. She gonna say anything? No, she didn't say anything. What's going to happen with you? Said there was some sort of. Exactly. Yes. We have to replace an AI entirely. Odin. Oh, she said. She said she's not gonna let the AI get replaced. But here I am. Okay. Let's go. Did I come through here? I don't remember. Huh. Ooh, look at the stars. Oh, okay. Yep, I remember this. Oh, I got an email. Yes. Attention subcontractor, I'm now overseeing the entity of this operation. You report to me. Contractor shall return all Ventures AI components to specified delivery location immediately. 
Contractor Shell, purge all confidential data encountered while on Venture's property. I trust there is no need to remind you of the severe consequences for deviating from the above. Be seeing you soon. Juno. That's the... That's the AI that the CEO was talking about. Oh, for the love of God. Sorry guys, I'm updating it on the side as well. Hey, I'm back. Okay. Install AI wetware here. Give it a little push. Yeah. Ship is ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. Caution AI hardware enclosure. Enclosure. Do not obsidian class. Yep, yep, yep. And we are back. Let's begin launch sequence back home. I think this is the end, right? Nope. Put my little book back. I'll just throw them away. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Posted AI? Online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative, I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Oh, damn. Here we go. So I don't work for Venturis. Hell yeah, okay. I have a feeling this is uh, this is copyrighted, so I'm just gonna gonna talk over this as much as I can. Okay, so it turns out that Amy, I think she was hired by Venturis. It kind of seems like she was hired by Venturis. Okay, I can skip this. Kind of seems like like based on the story, I thought she was hired by Venturis, but it turns out she was not. So she's actually working for a sovereign, I think, and they offered political asylum to to Odin so it's nice to, to see that in like the future like in this particular future that they actually give they see AI as a I wouldn't say living breathing but you know like sentient so they do have rights as well and they should be protected and respected like what she mentioned so that that's actually a neat little thing oh uh, wow a lot of there was a lot of deep corruption there I, I I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I, I was expecting him to die, to be honest, but I'm glad they did it. But I didn't expect the, the meteor impact to be fake. So, wow. Good job, developers. That was a that was an amazing game. This, it was pretty story rich, and I apologize because this you definitely put a lot of details into like the little things on the everywhere, like the little packets, the little books, and I don't think I've read all of them. So apologies that you put so much detail into them and I like avoided it. But yeah, so that is the end of Tacoma. That is that is a very great game. So it wasn't very like adrenaline rush. It was more like a story rich game where you just take your time and you see the story, you understand what what went wrong, what happened. And that neat little twist at the end was pretty cool as well. I I didn't expect Amy to to work for that the to work for a different uh, different corporation outside of Venturis, so that's nice. In any case, this is the end of Tacoma. I will leave this here. If you like what you see, like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and get that bell on so you stay up to date on all my latest videos. As always, be safe, take care, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace!